hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. It's a couple of months um, after that big battle with the Japanese at the end of the last episode. Um, we're still trying to take out the French. Uh, we're marching on French Guinea on land. We're still trying to take out, although I think we might have taken it. No, 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 we can't have done. Um, anyway, we're still trying to take out the, the last kind of remnants of the French Empire. Um, it's been a, a, a long effort, but I don't think I've ever just taken out <laughs> um, a major European power in one go like this before. Um, especially not France, which is usually pretty powerful. Well, you guys are coming in from reserves. Uh, Japan is still reeling. I think they haven't. Um, they haven't tried to re-engage. Should be able to take Formosa, hopefully. Although a few ships uh, did take some damage and are getting repairs. Fortunately, we have ports nearby to uh, facilitate that. Right, see if we can take out this destroyer, I'm assuming. Lovely hit, main belt pen. That's what you want. No flooding, though. There we go. And once they flood, they're going to slow down should be able to take him out. Just avoid that torpedo. Another big hit. And a bunch more. And dead. Still like cruiser hiding in there. Wow, that's an expensive destroyer. Eighty-five million. Oh, that was one of the good ones that I uh, saw in the the last episode. Yeah, they're they're decent. Um, but obviously they don't have the fire control we do because we were able to get hits on them and they weren't able to get them back and that light cruiser is getting murdered getting slowly shredded. Smoke's not going to help. Down she goes. Right. Well... No, I see even took a torpedo. Oh dear. Well, the remaining two transports shouldn't take too long. Last one. I should probably have a look at what the uh, French and Japanese actually have at the moment. So, uh, once this battle's over, I'll see you back on the politics screen. Hmm. 
<laughs> right, let's go. Okay, so aside from the British, who are probably going to be at war with us soon, although I'd like to try and hold that off for a while. Um, US in a bit of a slump at the moment. Oh, they're at war with France for some reason. Um, Japan. Wow. Okay, I had not realised that we had just wiped out their entire capital ship fleet. Um, <laughs> okay, they're building a lot of ships, though. They're, they're, they're not out by any means. They've got a decent economy. Yeah, it's going down, but I'll, I'll peace out with them soon enough. Um, China, not looking too hot. And the Soviet Union and the French, obviously, struggling. Although I find it hilarious that France has two provinces, and they're not even good ones, and their economy is almost as big as the Soviet Union. They have 21. Oh, dearie me. Soviet Union, absolutely struggling. Um, but yes, uh, going to go back to ending the turn. And we should take Formosa in two turns, and this in two turns. Well, I was going to wait two months and then just see what happens, but the Alma, the only French capital ship remaining, um, has bumped into the Santa Casilda. Uh, so we might as well might as well have a go here. Even if I lose, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and I want to see what they've come up with in their isolation. Somehow managed to build a ship without a shipyard, which I think is... Well, they do have... Technically, they, they do, I guess. But I don't think that... In real life, the provinces that they control would have any ability to uh, produce a warship like this. Well, I say like this, looking at my own. What have you got, France? Are you running away? Because that would be very disappointing. I want to sink you. I mean, it looks decent. Six 13-inch guns isn't exactly uh, setting the world on fire for firepower. But, um, you know, it's not nothing. And they're running. Or are they? It's so hard to tell sometimes. Maybe just trying to figure out where I am. Oh, there's transports. Of course. I've forgotten about them. So she's trying to stick to the transports. Dum -de dum -de da Oh, is she opening fire? She is. Okay, so they've got decent range, because we're not in range yet. We'll be in a minute. Targeted. I know you have. Stop it. A little bit of damage. There's definitely some armor because those shells bounced off. Pretty good accuracy right now. Stop firing HE, which is. Curious choice. Oh, 
a bit of flooding. Very fast. Oh, it is armoured. Very thick main deck. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Does it have torpedoes? No. Okay. Ow. We're at the kind of slugging range now. We're both just going to hit each other. Oh, she's taking the worst of that. Cadet crew. Just going to limit her effectiveness a little bit. Sinking, she will in a minute. Oh, got her. Right. Alas, you can uh, overtake Santa Casilda. Should be okay here. She still has these three comp compartments that are dry. Yeah, Halma, that's that's actually not a bad design. It costs 1.3 million, uh, billion, sorry. Just maybe a little bit schizophrenic on the armament. Would have been better if they'd gone, I don't know, 9 13s and dropped the 8s. Because I don't think she did much damage with her 8s. No, she didn't. Gen 1 radar. It's a little behind the times, but it's not terrible. I think if she'd had uh, a trained crew... That would have gone a bit differently for me. the best surrenders and that is that well that was a fun little battle thank you France uh, now back to uh, destroying you uh, speaking of here we have the Valmy <laughs> and the Hussar which are they the last two ships France has yes so we, we've got to try and destroy them because <laughs> that's just cruel now go back to having no navy. Poor old France. Really have been absolutely hammering them. Which is crazy because when they... Like... I was really concerned when uh, I first kind of got uh, into uh, difficulties with our relations with the French, that they would absolutely curb stomp me. And uh, those early conflicts were very touch and go. They had good designs, had a scary army. But uh, we've just managed to just 
turn the tide on them a bit. A bit. I mean, we, we have turned the tide on them long ago. Uh, but uh, it's unusual to just kind of be able to keep up a war like this. Normally you have to stop. For whatever reason. We do kind of need an operational pause at this point, though. I'm just not getting any hits. Or oh, we are getting hits and they're bouncing off. There we go. Good hits. They can fire anymore. Yeah. Didn't pick up on that at the time, but yeah, this was refitted in nineteen forty six, which was a while ago now. We're almost in nineteen sixty. Holding up reasonably well on that attack. I mean, she's kind of crippled, but can still do some damage here. Wisely trying to kill the destroyer. Yep, bye-bye to them. Destroyers, do you want to dart in and do some stuff? All right. How f uh, 60 knots! Al Monte! Whee! That's how you do a torpedo attack. Use the wonky division system. <laughs> Get your speed up to ludicrous levels. And then swing into range. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Well, well, well. Where did they pull that out from? <laughs> um, they have another Valmy. I swear I just destroyed. And another Hussar, which I also swear I already killed. Uh, and the Mont Normandy, which has been floating around. Uh, and I've been unable to pin it down and kill it for quite a while. Must have been in and out of repairs um, for some reason. Because the Americans are also around. So probably something to do with them. Would be my guess. Let's let's end this. Uh, wait, where's the? Oh, of course. Attack this fleet when it thinks it can hurt, not the one with the eighteen-inch gun. Uh, it's fine. You uh, you do that. Find that fourteen-inch ships are perfectly capable of causing you problems. Here is uh, the Normandy. Very odd ship. We're rattling their cage, but it's not doing very much. You just switched targets, didn't you? On the actual battleship, please. There we go. Hit by Isabel.
Oh, I can draw damage. It's not bad. Is that a destroyer? Yeah, it is. Okay, I see where you're trying to kill it. Fine. Silencio getting the hits. Good. Is this a uh, cruiser? Yep. The other Valmy. Also dead. Right. Now we can concentrate on uh, taking out that battleship. No more distractions. No radar on Normandy. I think it's actually quite an old ship by this point. Been on the run for a long time. Trying to destroy her upper works at the moment. Seem keen to engage us. I'm trying to open the range, which makes sense given her guns. She does have some armour. See, most of the damage has been to her top superstructure. Wasn't though. That was a main belt pen. And down goes France's presumably last ship. <laughs> Battleship for sure. Right. Back to the map. Well. It seems that Japan isn't very pleased with me attacking Pengu. Uh, they've managed to grab uh, another one of those Im Iwami class and a Haruna class, plus a bunch of uh, smaller ships against the, well, somewhat depleted invasion fleet. Um, so they could be... You know, they, they can they can grind us down, I guess, through attrition, but it shouldn't take us too long to get back up to full strength. We'll also, of course, make the invasion harder. Any ships they manage to take out will um, slow them down, but they only have one, one or two capital ships. So I think, contrary to what I normally do, I'm going to... I normally let the AI do its thing and... Um, obliterate all of the small ships but I think 
this time I'm going to try, if I can, and snipe out the uh, the big ships. Are we starting in range of each other? Yes, we are. Okay, no time, no time for fanciness. Where's their battleship? There, kill, kill, battle cruiser, kill. Pingu shall be mine. Note notes in the comments. <laughs> Well, we are landing hits. Some of them by accident, but we're landing them. Oh, that was a huge hit. Main belt pin on a light cruiser, I guess. Unfortunate for them. long range at the moment. Oh. Oh. oh okay, that's uh that's a cruiser that's coming in. Seems that we have forgotten who we're supposed to be targeting. I'll reorder. Sometimes you just have to wait for the uh, ships to get ID'd before you can actually issue proper fire orders. Taking the odd hit here. That's why I was trying to focus on the uh, enemy capital ships, reduce their big guns. Both ships have taken a fair old whack here. Thank 
units. Oh. Ruby. Cycle you out. Jesus Christ, 100% chance to hit. Basically, point blank range at this point, then. Fire AP, please. No. I didn't mean for you to switch targets immediately afterwards. Cretins. It is a destroyer, but... So, fair enough. But still. Okay, that's the battle cruiser gone. Okay. Battleship is almost sunk. Now it is. Uh, Amphitrite getting the uh, kill shot. Once we shred these destroyers, there should be basically nothing. Oh, they fired their torps. Stick one. Didn't do that much though, but good practice to uh, get any ship that's taken a talk to withdraw. Right, the rest should just be butchering this lot. One or two hits per ship, basically. Nice of them to bring all these light ships for me to sink. bit annoying, can't they? Right, this... You lot. You stop being stupid. Division system. It's terrible every time I use it, but I couldn't be bothered setting up a proper... proper system. That's why I'm taking damage. Because they're being numpties and sailing in circles. guns on the heavy cruisers. Kind of intermediate weapon that can actually hurt the battleships, especially this close. But their numbers are dwindling away to nothing.
these. Just a poor little light cruiser. Also gone. Right, well. That's another nice chunk of victory points. Okay. Okay, we've taken French Guinea. France is dissolved due to losing all ports. And they are out of the game forever because we we own all of their provinces. So that's that's a thing, right? Uh, this fleet, I'm going to move over to join the invasion fleet over here, which is a little looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, we've got a lot of ships repairing. Uh, some of them longer than others. Um, I think I'm over my... Yeah, yeah. I'm over the shipyard cap, so these are all doubled. But, uh, yeah, we should get two of them fixed up in a month, and then all of this will come down. So, that's... That's fine. But yes, France is gone. No more France. <laughs> ah, glorious. Glorious stuff. Um, yeah, I think we we finish this naval invasion. It's got three turns to run. It's probably going to fail. Um, and then we peace out with uh, peace out with Japan to give me a chance to get every ship refitted. Because I think at this point we could just do every single ship that's still in service. Um, get them all refitted, tidy up our ship designs, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, prepare for presumably the last war, which will be against the the British, I'm going to guess. Uh, war with the British, I don't know. Uh, what's their army logistics at the moment? 100% is... Uh, I don't know. I think that would just be a very quick... Taking the islands in the med, and that's it. Um, I mean, we might might do something amusing like taking Singapore or something, but um, yeah, that'll be a pretty big conflict. We could take on the US uh, as well, although they they quite like us at the moment. Try and take back our Caribbean holdings. Yeah, there's lots of things that we could do. I can go past the end of the campaign, um, but I'd rather go back to the to, to where I buggered the safe and see if I could do better than this, because um, we've done remarkably well. Okay, uh, I will wait for this naval invasion to finish, and then I'll uh, I'll see what's going on. Oh, we did take Pengu. Oh, amazing! Right. Well, in that case, uh, I. Wait, what? Why can't I push for a peace treaty? Oh, there's maybe one in the in the pipe. That can happen sometimes. I'll wait a turn, um, but I will see if we can peace out. Um, because yeah, I need to get on with uh, fixing up all of these ships. There were peace negotiations going on, and they failed. Uh, so but they they weren't started with me, so I'll. Offer them again. If they refuse, we'll invade Okinawa. Um, that's basically where I'm coming from with that. We have mostly wrapped up. We've still got a few ships uh, repairing. Um, but now that we're under our shipbuilding capacity, that's that's progressing pretty quick. You would expect them to uh, to agree. You would hope that they would. Right, let's see if they do. They refused. Well, uh, in that case, on to Okinawa. Do 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 do. Any more ships from here? Yes. Right, what have you got to intervene? 
with a battle cruiser. Okay, that's not going to go super well, is it? Okay, so we, we have actually taken Okinawa. Uh, it's been about six months. Um, and annoyingly, they offered peace during the... Yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a... Bit of a nightmare. Well, right, we could ask for money. We could uh, we could take a ship um, if we wanted, which is always fun. But although you can refit them, you can't make more of them. So yeah, I'm I'm not super keen to take ships. Um, I mean, I, I would maybe take their battleship just to have a look at what they build. They're building quite a few of these. Um, but uh, no, we'll just we'll just take the money. Uh, oh goodness! Uh, GDP. Right. Yep, you can have some Alfonsos. Right. Well, now then, <laughs> now begins the great refit. But I actually think uh, I will do that. Uh, do I want to do that now? Do I want to do that in the next episode? Do you know what? It's all going to be time-lapsed anyway. Because I'm not going to talk through doing a hundred bajillion refits. Uh, so, yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to refit everything. But I'm going to say thank you very much for watching just now. <laughs> in case I change my mind. Or uh, just so that, you know, I don't know that not everyone's going to watch. Want to sit and, sit and watch all the refits. So, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And... Uh, Enjoy the the refit time lapse to end the episode.